Okay, so this is my third attempt at making this video. My husband keeps making fun of me because I keep telling the cats to be quiet. And I don't know how much longer this is going to last as far as me being able to concentrate in this video. Anywho, so the purpose of this video is I wanted to go over my nighttime skin routine. I actually tried making this video once before this other two times I just tried. And something happened with my computer and the video and everything got corrupted and I wasn't able to upload. So this is not as good as the last one that I made, but I figured it's better than nothing, especially because I'm about ready to go to bed. I've already washed my face, done my whole thing. So everything's done. Now I just got to show you what I did. So the first thing, and FYI, all the products that I use for my nighttime routine are Paula's Choice. As I've said before, I'm not affiliated with Paula's Choice. I just really, really, really like the brand. And I really like to keep everything together as far as all of the products being from the same brand. I don't know if it's an OCD thing. I don't know. It just works for me. But just the fact that these products are actually worth um, purchasing because they do what they say, I think has a lot to say. So, does that make sense? I don't know. You know what I mean, right? Okay, so first things first, it's the cleanser. So I actually use Paula's Choice, um, what does that say? Skin Balancing Cleanser. So I actually have combo skin. My T-zone is a little bit oily, and then, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm not wearing any makeup, but you can see some brown spots and unevenness and whatnot. So this actually works really well. There's several cleansers to choose from, from Paula's Choice. In fact, there's several cleansers to choose from from any brand. You just have to make sure you get the right one for your skin and one that's actually gonna do something for you. There's a lot of them out there that are just full of fragrances and oils and things. That's actually not good for you. Um, if anything, it irritates your skin more. So the cool thing about Paula's Choice is all her stuff is fragrance free and that's usually the number one cause of irritation. So this is what I use. Um, and that's step one, as you guys can see. Anytime you buy anything from Paula's Choice, she always sends everything, well, the people that package everything. It's, uh, yeah, they always include um, this little sheet with stickers on it that has step one, step two, step three. So it's actually nice because it helps you keep track of things. Um, all right. Then after that, after I've washed my face and dried my face, I do tone with the clear targeted acne relief toner. So if you guys can see, I have my little step two at night. I actually only do this at night. I find it a bit drying if I do it at night and in the morning. So I try to do all my harsh things at night because that way my skin can rest for the time that I'm sleeping as opposed to doing it right in the morning before going to work and all of a sudden I have bright red skin. Um, that's not a good thing. So I always do all the treatments and peels and things always at night. So this guy is great. It really helps keep breaks out breakouts in check. Can you tell I'm about ready to go to bed now? Um, so keeps breaks out in check and it's got 2% salicylic acid so that's really good for people that um, have a little bit of breakouts or if you just want to maintain clear skin. So step two and before I forget you can either put, it, put this on a cotton ball or you can just put it on your hand, it's, it is watery, and then put it all over your face. As you know, when you put things on cotton balls, you lose about 50% of the product. So it's up to you how you want to do it. I use the cotton ball just because it's easier. Um, then after that, and I don't have stickers on these. Well, I kind of do. This one does, this one doesn't. Um, but I actually do this before this, so this sticker is wrong, so ignore that. Um, after my toner, and I let that dry quickly, you know, I might fan it a little bit. Um, I use the clear acne fighting treatment with 2.5% benzoyl peroxide and this was actually in my last video, my favorites from head to toe if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, I put this on right after my toner um, and it's really great. It's super light in texture. I don't know if you guys have ever used the Oxy. I've used it in the past but the Oxy is really thick. Um, this stuff is really thin consistency, yet it's still powerful, which is really great because if you do want to use this in the morning, which I do sometimes depending on how bad of breakouts I have, sometimes I get a lot of them like on the sides here, um, on my cheeks, I don't know why, but I'll put a little bit of, um, well, 
bed head time, right? Um, I put a little bit on it of it on my cheeks, and it does help quite a bit. So definitely recommend it. And then last but not least, it does not matter if you have oily skin, dry skin, acne prone skin, sensitive skin. You need to moisturize, okay? And you know what? Oh, I have two more things to show you. So, to moisturize, I use Paula's Choice Resist Anti-Aging Clear Skin Hydrator. So not only does it help your skin stay hydrated, and this stuff is thick. I mean, I don't, I'm going to show you a little bit. I don't like to waste my products, but that's the consistency. Look, it's not going anywhere. This stuff is really thick, which means it's ultra moisturizing. I'll just use that if you don't mind. Um... And uh, you must moisturize. You must. You have to keep your face moisturized. Otherwise, in the morning, you're going to wake up with all this flaky skin after putting on benzoyl peroxide. So don't forget to do that. It doesn't have to be this uh, moisturizer, but find one that fits your skin. Go to beautypedia.com and check out the different gazillion reviews that are on there about products. Not just makeup. There's hair stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. They're really thorough reviews coming from someone who knows what they're doing, Paula. So, last but not least, because I'm sleepy and I want to go to bed now, um, is the Resist Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. So, ignore the sticker on this one because I've updated my routine. So, this stuff is also really effective and really... A staple in my skincare regimen because not only do I use it at night and I actually prefer to use this just under my eyes for the wrinkles and all that fun stuff and I have a lot of lines on my forehead so I put it on there as well and I wake up and my skin just looks really great I mean it just looks you know beautiful and it lasts for a little bit of course because then I shove a bunch of makeup on it um, but I do have to even up my skin tone, so that's why. But in the morning, I do use this again um, under my eyes. I put on a little bit, and I actually put my concealer on top, and it just gives a great finish. So it's a product that it is a serum. It can also be used as a foundation primer. Um, so it had a, has a lot of uses, and it's very, very effective. So it's highly recommended. Um, and that's it. That's what I do at night. Uh, do I do this every night? No. Um, sometimes I totally completely forget to wash my face and go straight to bed, which is horrible because I really need to learn to wash my face every night. Um, on the nights that I don't wash it at all, I at least try to clean it off with uh, baby wipes. Some people go out and buy the regular face cleaning wipes. Honestly, baby wipes are great. They don't have, if you get the ones that are odorless and stuff, they're perfect. Just clean your face, toss it, and go to bed. Same thing as those other things that sometimes have fragrances and th things that are going to be irritating. So before this gets much longer, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. One of these days, I'll do a much better video where I'll actually demonstrate all the different steps. But I wanted to at least give you a quick um, view of what I do since it was requested in the past and I haven't been able to upload. So you guys have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.